Oh, look, the beans. Look what we found. They have <gasps> it. Announcement time. I have new merch out in two designs just in time for Christmas. Merch launches on the 29th of November for a limited time only. So please grab them while you can to avoid disappointment. Design numero uno. This is the hoodie. This is what the hood looks like. I always go for a baggy fit. So this is a size large. Really good quality, really thick. So perfect for this time of the year. I'm kind of hot sweaty right now. And I love the simple design. Design number two. Simple at the front, then a pie at the back, people. I've gone for a font that's very similar to Stranger Things vibe, because I'm really obsessed with that font. Just look at that font. This hoodie design costs a little bit more than the previous one because there's more print on it and it costs more to make. So those are the two designs. You can also get them in t-shirts. I hope you guys like it. I worked really hard on creating designs that were different but also in line with what I would actually wear. And I'm very aware that a lot of people are going to be buying these for Christmas or as a gift. So I wanted to create something that was a bit more different and special. These are very limited so please grab them while you can because I can't guarantee that they'll come around again and I really don't want people to miss out. Merch launches this Friday, 29th of November at 4pm GMT. If you sign up through the link in the description box before the launch, you will get 20% off your purchase. Sign up for 20% off. Yay! What a beautiful day it is today! It's high in the wind. <laughs> We're at the supermarket. We're gonna do a tour supermarket let's go before I go food shopping I'm gonna go to Dunkin Donuts ice cream took the size of my head America people. that's huge just got a plant-based burger oh my god this is really good I feel like I'm having she's like, Whoa, no, go. first time in a Dunkin Donuts and I didn't even get a donut I <laughs> got a plant-based what is it a plant -based sausage donut thing we're in Dunkin Donuts baby to another episode of Taz freaking out in a supermarket in a foreign country for 10 minutes straight. This isn't a New York experience, this is an American experience, baby. There's so many options for nuts. I'm going nuts. Everything in America is huge and there's just so many options of everything. Look at how many nuts they have. Everything. And look how big it is. It's also beautiful. All the options. Yeah, Everybody's here. Like oh, let's go to the cereal section. Yes, let's go to the cereal section. But let's also wick our way around. Like, yeah, surely yeah, take everything look in. Look how cheap this is. This is, this this is cheap? Dollar twenty-five for this whole thing of, of like lettuce. This is so cheap. Look at this. Six dollars. Six dollars. Dollar twenty-five. We only do a dollar twenty-five. Put it in Why the trolley. Would you even? Put it in the trolley. Why? I need to get root beer. Root beer is huge here. Oh, that rhymes. And I've never tried it before. So root beer is a thing. Oh, sorry. Kind of in the way. Look at how many varieties they have just for salad leaves. All of that down there, here, more, more here. Who needs this many varieties for salad leaves? Who doesn't? That's true. That's, Who doesn't? That's what America says, right? People are looking at me like a weirdo. Oh my god, they have ranch. They have ranch. I found ranch. I kind of want to try because everyone goes on about it. I'm pickles. Oh my god. I really want to try these pickles. Okay. I guess I'm gonna get these. I've got myself some ranch and some pickles. Whoa, what is that? Dragon fruit, interesting. I got ranch and pickles. <laughs> are they good ones? They're kosher. <laughs> <laughs> these are, these are, these are uh, middle of the road pickles. Middle of the road, okay. I did somewhat good, right? Yeah, no. Do you like ranch? I love ranch. You love ranch? I, I feel like ranch. that's a very American thing. It is a very American Okay. Look at this fish section. All oh, the fish. Look at all these fishes! I wasn't expecting this though. I was not expecting this. You know what's crazy? You're a New Yorker and even you weren't expecting this. Like as in like this is a new experience. This is a new experience for And the whole yeah. thing was like you were supposed to show me around, but like now it's like Now it's we're experiencing this together. Together. Look how big the radish is. That's a radish. It's Korean radish. Oh wow. Okay. 49 cents. Okay. <laughs> This is 49 cents. That's good, right? This is so cheap. This is it's good insane. value you can for make price. An insanely good, like a, an insanely good meal for ten dollars here. This is like your head. Yeah. And this is this is like my head. Yeah, that's so true, actually. Oh, they got octopus and snail. Oh. Wild snail. The is it normal to have octopus and stuff like in supermarkets? Not really. No, like this is this is very rare. Like this whole thing is this whole experience is very rare. Really? So this would be the octopus. These are octopus. Tentacles. Oh, those Head, tentacles. Oh, I don't know. I was only five minutes in and had already felt like I had experienced so much. 
There's just so much of everything. It's insane. Great dogs, beef franks, Angus, Hebrew national, smoked pork. Everything is so much bigger inside. So, this is a bag of tortilla chips, I guess. Crisps, tortilla crisps. It's huge. Like this is a sharing size, I'm imagining, because it's huge. That's a big size. That's an average size. No, that's a big size. That's average size. It's average. They have original, I think. Oh. There's so many varieties that we can't find the original one. That's how many options they have. All of this, peanut butter. Oh, your favorite one? Ew. Your favorite? <laughs> $17. $17. That's yeah. Insane. We'll put that one down. We'll put yeah. that one down. No, no, we we, we didn't. No, no, no. That's gross. Has had very quickly become accustomed to the American way of life. No Shave my head. We can't take her anywhere. You need bread? If oh, you wait. Can... You know what? We do need bread. You do need bread? I Let's think... get bread. We have the organic. Okay. Um, Thank you. We have the white. Okay, right. Um, yeah. Which is a bit too strong, I yeah. think. But yeah. I would seriously recommend. It's really good for the digestive okay, system. Yeah, yeah. But seriously, what kind of bread would you like? We ended up settling for the whole grains and seeds. Organic! Okay. Organic, we love organic. The YouTuber JC Kalin used to be obsessed with Arizona tea. This was like, I'm talking four or five years ago. And when I used to watch his video, he used to always drink it. And I was always like, I wonder what that tastes like. I cannot taste that on the guitar. I hope it is as good as they say it is. It's so pretty. That's massive. Is that meant to be one big, that's a big can. That's a big can. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, actually, for Arizona, that's the regular size of a can. These are small cans. America. <laughs> Look at the sugar on that. I'm gonna guess there's like, uh, 55 grams of sugar. That's insane amount, you die from that. What is it? 25 grams. 25 grams of sugar? Approximately three. So this is actually, this whole can is 75 grams of sugar. I'm sorry, what? This is 75 grams of sugar in that. Let's put it in the trolley. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed back here. You know what? I'd collect the bottles because they're so pretty. Oh no, 35 grams of sugar. They have hot food here. I was just going to say that earlier. Waffle fries. Oh my God, they have hot food here. A cheese platter that's so big. Oh my God, that is huge. I love America. Oh, they have good veggie options and tuna wrap. This is actually really good. I had high expectations, but what I wasn't expecting was a whole buffet section right in the middle of the store. Why don't we have this in the UK? And then I noticed something from the corner of my eye. Pizza! Here. Yeah? All the way to here is pizza. pizza. Like we have been like screaming and shouting and excited. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> in the pizza fridge, very excited. And apparently they have cauliflower pizza. All of the crust is made from cauliflower. I don't that's a thing in the UK. If it is a thing in the UK, I haven't seen it. And there's so many different options for cauliflower pizza. Cauliflower pizza, eh? Interesting. That's insane. But how many people would that be? So many Two. people. <laughs> really? Two people? Maybe three. Yeah, I would buy it just for the packaging. Which of the flavors should I get? The original? The syrup that comes with it. Is this good? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Of course they have cornflakes. They're from America. Oh, what's all they were British? Kellogg's is an American cre oh. like inventor. So he was an American. Rice Krispies is that not British? It's British. no. Cue exploding music. Well, Mind how blown. Been alive. I'm having a real life moment of realization right now. Frosted flakes. Yeah. It's not British. No, anything Kellogg's oh. is American. I only have room, maybe have room for one cereal box so this is gonna be a tough decision I gotta pick one and I don't know which one I'm gonna pick Mimi. you know how in the UK we have like a variety pack where they have the small yeah yeah do yeah. they have that here in the UK like these little guys yes okay that's what I'll get but this is cool this is perfect cereal taste testing video coming right up America oh your favorite gross <laughs> Ew. it's bigger than your head for real like you you stack three of those next to each other Is 382 for two? 382. No, no, no. This is 382 per pound, so it's like 10.99. Well, you know, a small packet of these, yeah. Lucky Charms, in the UK, if you go to those American yeah, yeah. candy stores, um, is 10 pounds for one cereal box. What? Yes. That's crazy. They charge you 10 pounds for it. And people buy it because they want to try what Captain Crunch. 
tastes like? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, and Tricks. What's Tricks like? They're for kids. <laughs> Great, I'll get them. <laughs> That's stacking skill. Beautiful. Person who did that needs a raise. Do you like spam? I don't want to record this. I've never tried spam before. You can try spam today. <laughs> this is the mac and cheese that everyone keeps going on about. Yeah. The mac and cheese. So this is. I need to get this. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday I saw a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. I grabbed them because I didn't know if I'd find them again. And Adam was saying you can get them everywhere. You can. They don't have them here though. Not they here. just have these. So I'm glad I got them yesterday. This one has all the different flavors in one packet. That would no, not no. fit in my suitcase, and but... And also, like, I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't eat that much. I would. Oh, 100%. I'd eat the whole thing. Easy. Do you know the movie Ben and Beckham? Yeah, of course. Oh. It's Aaron's favorite movie. Shut up. For real. You know Grackle? Sounds exactly like Kira Knightley. Oh, she really? It doesn't. Grackle sounds exactly like Kira Knightley. You close your eyes, Kira Knightley. From Ben and Beckham. And I'm the Asian one. Ah. Uh... I'm not. I can't play football. I'm not sporty. Sardines. I'm an idiot and left my camera on my trolley and I was all the way down there and um, a lady was just like guys don't forget your camera and she was like helping us Don't forget your camera is there Oh, oh thank sorry, you. thank you okay. That was a lady and like um, you know, like the impression of people in New York, very friendly Very, very friendly I love it here, people are so lovely Oh look, the beans, look what we found They have it I think in America you guys have beans for barbecue. Mm. That's how or you have chili. it. Yeah. yeah, but not for every day. No, yeah, yeah. This is the most random selection of stuff ever. Here in the America, biscuits are like these scone things. I wish I could take this home. This will be my like year supply of iced tea. That has been me in an American supermarket. Apparently this supermarket isn't normal for New York. It's a lot bigger. One of the best experiences ever. Got a few snacks that we're gonna try out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Okay, bye!